In this problem, we're given a point in spherical coordinates, and we have to convert it to rectangular coordinates. So the formulas in order to convert from spherical to rectangular are extremely important, uh, and they are x equals rho sine phi cosine theta, y equals rho sine phi sine theta and the very last one is z equals rho cosine phi okay so the ordered triple here is in the form rho theta phi so all we have to do is carefully plug everything in and we are done so x is equal to rho, which is 10, times the sine of phi, which is <laughs> pi over 4. Be really careful. Um, you know, your eye tends to look at this one, but that's not phi. That's, that's theta. Phi is pi over 4, so it's really easy to mess up here. So go, go slow. And then cosine of pi over 6. So always take your time with these. It's really easy to mess up and mix up the angles. So this is 10. The sine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2. And the cosine of pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2. If you have problems with these angles, um, the pi over 4 one should be easy. It's just root 2 over 2. It's the same for cosine. But like for cosine of pi over 6, the way I, used to do, uh, way I still do it sometimes is the sine of pi over 3 is the square root of 3 over 2. So I memorize this one. And then if I know that one, I know that the sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. And then for cosine, you just flip them. So cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half, because it can't be root 3 over 2. And cosine of pi over 6, well, it can't be 1 half, so it's root 3 over 2. So once you memorize one, you, you kind of know uh, the others. So 2 times 2 is 4, and then we have a 10 here. So 10 over 4, that's 5 halves. And then you can multiply the numbers inside the square roots here, and that will give you square root of 6. So that's our, our x value. y is equal to rho, so 10. And again, sine phi, so sine of pi over 4. And then sine of theta. So theta is pi over 6. So this is equal to 10 square root of 2 over 2. Well, how convenient I wrote these here. That, that worked out nice. Sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. So we have 10 fourths, which again is 5 halves square root of 2. Lots of fractions, lots of numbers, lots of square roots, lots of angles. So again, just... Just take your time. And then rho is 10 here in this case. And then cosine phi. So again, phi is pi over 4. And the cosine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2. So we get 10 times the square root of 2 over 2. Whoops. So that's 5 square root of 2. So our final answer is an ordered triple in space and it can be written in the form x, y, z. So the x coordinate is 5 halves times the square root of 6. The y coordinate is 5 halves times the square root of 2. And the z coordinate is 5 times the square root of 2. And that would be the answer to the problem. That's it.